Welcome to the Company of Women International presenting to you today the Beauty from Ashes TV program. And we are having a wonderful, wonderful time because I've got Tim and I have uh, Jay with me today and we're talking about the love of God and how he just intervenes in our lives and changes us all around and makes us into something we'd like to be. Mm. And we've tried to do it ourselves and we can't. And like you said, only God can do it. And the grace of God is right. the manner by which he does it. In fact, grace is Jesus. That's right. <laughs> so you were talking about this. Now, this is Tim and this is Shay. Um, we were talking about Isaiah 53 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the things that uh, God has done and so mm -hmm. forth. Did you want to start off there, Jay, today? <clears throat> Yeah, I want to start out in um, Isaiah 53, verse 4. Okay. And it says, um, it says, Surely he bore our griefs yes. and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him, shrieking, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisements of our peace was upon him. And by yes. stripes we were healed. And really what it's showing is that it's showing the things that took place in him exercising his love for right. us. It says, surely he bore our griefs and he carried away our sorrows. And our griefs and our sorrows are the issues or the pains of the souls, the mm -hmm. wounds that took place when we were sinned against. Mm -hmm. he, he dealt with that. Yes. He dealt with that out of love because he so loved us that he says not only am i going to die for your sins but i'm also going to do away with the manifestations that came about through sin you understand what i'm mm, you yes. yes and it, it and it's just it's so good to know that in his goodness in his high seed towards us yes that he would do away with these things because he wants us whole. He wants us complete. He wants us well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the example that comes to my mind uh, is the fact that uh, abortion, that the women that have abortion suffer sometimes the rest of their life yes. from emotional or traumatic spirits of uh, experience. That's right, grief and, for sorrows. And, and so Jesus died so, and took all of that on him so that this, as a sin, cannot be something to torment and harass us the remainder of our lives. Absolutely. Life. Anybody, who's, who's been, anybody who's went through some traumatic trauma. Right. Doesn't matter what it is. Don't matter what it is. The Lord carried that. He dealt with that. Mm -hmm. That way they can be free from that, that they won't be imprisoned to, like you said, if a woman get, get, got an abortion, she mm -hmm. wouldn't be imprisoned in her mind and in her soul right. to, I, I killed my baby. Or, you know, and the enemy torment, he, mm -hmm. he had to deal away with that so he could destroy. Because remember, for this reason, the son was manifested that he may what? Destroy the works of the I'm devil. Of the devil, right. And if, and if, you know, a person was deceived and they did that, they, they had an abortion or they did something that hurt somebody mm -hmm. and, and now they're dealing with the guilt and mm -hmm. they're carrying the burden of, you know, the sorrow and the mm -hmm. grief of, look what I've done. And we, uh, the same way, we can say or do something that, that hurts somebody else. Right. And, and unless we forgive and go back and apologize, we carry that with us. We don't ever lose the remembrance of that and Satan will trigger it he will mm. use it over and over again that's right. that's right the thing about the thing the thing about the gospel is it is a beautiful picture of substitution yes that what as Jay is, is is talking about that Jesus took the penalty of and all of those the griefs and the sorrows and the sin and the sicknesses and the pains if, uh, if, if we had time, we would go and look at, in the Hebrew, those words, the grief and sorrows, mm -hmm. um, is sickness and disease and all of those things. Yeah. And the beauty of the gospel is it's a substitution. And he says uh, in Isaiah 60, he says, listen, this is the work of the cross. God 
once, and I love the, the name of the show. Yeah. It's actually on right now. He says, beauty for ashes. Right. That's he where says, he came from. Right. He, he says he wants it. to give us joy for mourning. Mm -hmm. He wants to give us praise for the spirit of heaviness. That's mm -hmm. right. And so the whole, the whole message of the gospel is a substitution where the grace of God comes. Now the scripture says, he who knew no sin takes on sin yes. that we might take on his righteousness. righteousness. He who knew no sickness, uh, Matthew eight seventeen says, took sickness and disease that by his stripes we might be healed. He who knew no grief and sorrow and wounds, knew none of those things, Thanks. took them that we might have. And so the whole of the gospel is a substitution of that Jesus enjoyed right standing with the Father. Perfect relationship, perfect wholeness, had a perfect body. All of his organs, all everything functioned perfectly, their relationship. And what he does is he steps out of that place. Yes. And he steps into our place of separation and brokenness and just demise. And he says, and he offers his position to us. Mm -hmm. So we take his position of right relationship with the Father, right relationship in our heart, right relationship yes. Yes. in every way that now our bodies can be as his body was perfect, as his life was mm -hmm. perfect, mm -hmm. ours can be. And so that's the good news of the gospel, Amen. that everything Amen. that is wrong, he makes right. Yes. And everything that was right in his life we can now partake of. And That's everything right. that was wrong in our life, He took it on the cross. Right. And of course, the scripture tells us that uh, as you are Jesus, so are we in the earth. Right. Which means we can take the word, apply it to whatever is not functioning properly, and that and speak that word to whatever the situation is, and we can change the situation yes. by the use of the word of God. That's right. And I've got to use it <laughs> more. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we, because well, this is how Rifle um, got healed twice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he took the word until the word became and Jesus became more real than the MS. Uh, disease in his body That's right. and then he came out of it whole healed twice mm. and i'm thinking i can't even get up on the step <laughs> yes. and, and, and remember paul says that i birth you and travail into the image of christ is formed on the inside of you and as yes. we take the word and we spend time in that word it begins to form an image of christ there in that yes. trying time like rifle when he had he was dealing with the MS. He had spent so much time in the Word. He had spent so much time being wholly formed on the inside that mm -hmm. in that moment of despair, guess what? The image of Christ that was formed raised up and delivered right. that. It dealt with that which came against him. And that's what we're called to do. And that's what Jesus did in Isaiah. He says, look, I've carried it. I've took it. Mm -hmm. now, now take this truth. Partake of this truth, right? And allow this truth to be formed on the inside of you. That way, what in the time of need it may come forth, He may manifest in you. Mm -hmm. That I spoke of last in the last episode, right? And, and that's what's so great about God, you know, is, is the substitute for our, our ashes. He gave us beauty mm -hmm. for our wrongs, He gave us His righteousness yes. for our. Hatred, he gave us his love. Mm -hmm. Our worst, he gave us his best. Yes. That's covenant, and, and it's just so wonderful to be a part of it. It's so and wonderful that to covenant, know. that is the beauty that he is now manifested in both your lives. Right. And you were just an ash heap before, mm -hmm. broken and destroyed, and he has raised it up. Right. So he knew what he wanted to do when yeah. he put this program on the air. That's oh, right. amen. And we just can't help ourselves but to love him. Mm -hmm. We can't help ourselves but to serve him mm -hmm. because he has taken our ashes. He has taken our burden, our sin. Right. And he did it in the darkest, most brokenest place that mm -hmm. we found ourselves in was mm -hmm. in prison. And so now that we've had an encounter with him, we can't help ourselves. He's that good. He's worth spending the rest of our lives right. talking about and going after and yes. talking to other people. He's yeah. worth it. Yeah. And he's amazing. And that's what happens to every single person who has an encounter, who gets to know 
who I'm talking about, right. everybody, when they have an experience with him, they get to know him, you just can't help yourself no. but to serve him. <laughs> that is the best thing on this side of the dirt, to know God. And I think it is great when you said that you all were sitting in the prison cell, mm -hmm. nothing to do yeah. a, a, except to d talk the word yeah. and discuss the Lord. That's right. And you find yourself right here doing the same thing that sitting in the prison cell. You didn't know you were practicing, did you? Mm, right. We were in the secret <laughs> place, and he was, he was fashioning us just like Joseph <laughs> was in the prison, and he was learning how to manage the prison. He was learning at Potiphar's house how to manage his home yeah. and so on, not even knowing in the secret place where he's sold into slavery. No one cares about him. No one remembers. No one right. knows where he is. In the secret place, God was fashioning his character. Right. He was fashioning all these things in his life again talking back to our point that it is God who works on the inside of us to bring to pass to this uh, Ephesians says that there's a good work that mm -hmm. has been established before the creation of the world for us to do mm -hmm. and so it's God's responsibility to bring that work to pass so he was fashioning us in that prison cell fashioning us through that whole process that now as he brings us out into the light mm -hmm. now our character has been forged now we've experienced him in different ways that we can go and we can we can we can bring that to people. We can mm -hmm. bring that to the broken and the lost and it's it's beautiful. It's an honor to do it. And it's just it's just amazing. And the thing of it is with the experience and uh, that you all have had, oh, see you come with a it's an experience and you know it and those that you're trying to talk with know that you know where mm. to talk it Absolutely. about. Oh yeah, we had we definitely had the school of hard knocks. Yeah. We didn't we didn't come and you know, we did not have a silver spoon in our mouth and no, in no. prison learning how to minister, yeah, learning how to witness, learning how to love the unlovable, learning yeah. how to literally we're dealing with you know, uh, rapists and murderers and people uh -huh. who are broken and are hurting and people who have life sentences. And these, this is our field. This is, you know, these are the people we encounter, not just to minister the gospel, but to live with. Yeah. And so this was a really good place yeah. to learn how to walk in love, how to walk in patience, That's right. how to walk all those things out. And it's, it's, it's glorious. Yeah. He, he really what are some, uh, or can you, do you remember any particular incidences when you were in prison and ministering to people? Are there any situations that stand out to you? Do you want the good or the bad or the ugly? Let's give all three. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give you all three. Go for it. Um, the good, the, I say, um, we've seen, okay, I'll give you a really good one. Um, a lot of A lot of people even this is a hot topic right now, a lot of people struggle with homosexuality. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, scriptural basis where we believe that that's not God's perfect will. That's right. And a beautiful example of that was Jay had an opportunity to really love on and minister to a fellow that, was, that we were friends with. Mm -hmm. And God just did an amazing work in this man's and life. He and he was, he was caught under the Spirit for, for many years. And he, he wanted out, but he didn't know how to get out. Yes. And he had an encounter with God. Jay led him into a prayer and led him into just, just loved on him. He got filled with the Holy Spirit. And his life changed 360 oh. degrees radically. He went from just super darkness to preaching on the yard and oh, witnessing really? to that community and just yeah. just really man yeah. beautiful yeah yeah that's 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 a good yeah, one yeah yeah what was, was the reaction of all those around when he started preaching oh man they was like is just like Paul yeah it was just like, it, 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 and that's what's so crazy is that the word the word the word defends itself. I ask. And, 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 and the way I'm saying it is because when this, when this young man used to do what he did, mm -hmm. right, it was like encounter with God the next day. Mm. He's <laughs> preaching. Again. Yeah. He's, and they're saying, is this not such and such who yeah. used to do such and such? Yeah. Just like yeah. they talked about Paul. Yeah. They right. talked about him. And it, and it just, I was just, man, like this is. And, mm -hmm. and that really boosted my faith. Yeah. I bet it did. It yeah. really boosted my faith because, you know. I you knew to, it was not anything you had done. I but knew except it. Except to put the word out there. I it. knew it. But, but in that area, it, it, it was kind of beautiful because I was like a homophobic. Mm -hmm. Which means that I didn't, don't, yeah. didn't want to be, yeah. don't look at me. Don't, <laughs> you know, I, I don't got no kick it. And, you know, the Lord, the Lord took that thing which 
I hated the most. <laughs> and because of his love, he 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 compelled me to now minister that. And and what happened was that that broke a barrier in my heart to right. where there's no type of person that I won't minister to That's and right. that I won't right. share right. the love that of God with. That broke that fear, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. And it broke him out of the change, out of the love. And, it, you, and you'll notice that when the Lord really calls you to minister in certain areas <laughs> that you're uncomfortable <laughs> with, as you're ministering to that person, he's, he's ministering, ministering to you. you. Come on. <laughs> Man, it's crazy, yeah. man. He's so good at his yeah, mercy yeah, and doing forever. Come on. I'm laughing with you because I know what it's like to say, you know, I'm yeah. afraid to get around. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's, that's, that's not God because God is... God is love, and <laughs> God is not timid or afraid. He's and not so, afraid of anything. right, and so there was but plenty. That's not me. <laughs> there was plenty of opportunities where we we had to, you know, yeah. not obey the flesh and not <laughs> yield to the fear of man yeah. and what people thought and none, any of those things. Because yeah. a lot of those guys were broken, and there was very few that were actually willing to engage these hard and broken people. Mm -hmm. And you know, we 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 got a chance to see God move so miraculously and people oh. giving their life to the Lord and we would be on the prison yard and sharing the word and sharing you know the baptism of the Holy Spirit and oh. men right on the prison yard lifting their hands and worshiping and praying in their heavenly languages and and healings taking place so it, it was it was it was amazing and and just to add that 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 experience with, with a young man you know just just leading them you know, you know, into Christ and, you know, him renouncing, you know, homosexuality uh -huh. and him getting filled with the Holy Spirit. That process that that went that took place, it was over a period of time. Mm -hmm. And it time spent with this guy. I had mm -hmm. to walk the yard with this guy. Right. I had to sit with this guy at the chat hall. And in prison, if you're around certain people yeah. then they will look at you yeah, in the you light of that with but, right. thank, but thanks that, that to the well you don't have to be in prison for that right. you know? yeah but, but thanks to the glory of god that's it you know that that you know because of his goodness and his grace in my life my 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 reputation was already gone and i didn't even know it <laughs> it was like it was like it was like you know it was like me now catching up to where it already took place in my walk with him. Yeah. Because I'm like, man, I don't, you know, but <laughs> people already look at me as being the man of God. Yeah. So when I was, the whole time I'm thinking, I'm one of these people thinking crazy. <laughs> They're like, man, that's Coltrane ministering yeah. to the guy, you know, and, and the Lord revealed that to me later on. <laughs> and it, it's just, it's just so much with, with, with what the Lord has done, man. That's, that's. You know, the master wasn't afraid to be called, he was called a drunkard. Yeah. He was called a madman, yeah. a friend of sinners. He would go and hang out with the prostitutes. That's he, it. He, he was not afraid. And Philippians <laughs> 2 says that he came, took on the form of a, of a man, uh -huh. and made himself nothing of no reputation. Yes. And that's a place we have to get to where we're so worried about reputation. We want to be cool so? and we want to be proper. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and that's not the gospel. The gospel not isn't the gospel. pretty. The gospel is dirty. And it, it goes into places where, you know, society, high society won't go. No. But that's where God is. If yeah. you want to find yes. God, that's where he is. And he's in the trenches. And that's right. And he really is. is. is and, and what's so beautiful about that is that he's in the trenches. And he, you know, he calls us to go into the trenches. Mm -hmm. With but him. we we don't we don't bear the mark of the trenches. That's right. We bear the mark of Abba Daddy. That's right. Yeah. Remember the Bible says that, you know, John the Baptist came neither, you know, eating, eating or drinking, drinking. Yeah. and they said, you know, he had a devil. Yeah. And then yeah. it says, you know, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus came, came eating, eating and hanging with sinners he's a, and he's a wine babbler. Yeah. But the Bible says after that that but wisdom is justified by, her by all her children. That's right. And and one of the the scriptures that I stood on when I was in that place of ministering, David said, though I fall in the miry pit, my righteous garments are not stained. Mm -hmm. That even oh. though, you know, I, I had to sit with this guy and I had to be around this guy, that what this guy was into did not rub off on mm -hmm. me. But yes. instead, what I was That's into, come which on. was into the glory of God, no, no, rubbed on off him. on him. Come on. Ah. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. What a yeah. beautiful word. Yes, yeah. that's good to hear today. Mm -hmm. Because I, I was questioning something with the Lord the other day, and I'm, I can't even recall the situation. But the thought was then, 
Jesus went to be with the sinners, That's right. the prostitutes and everything. So what was I worried about? Right, right. <laughs> and, and that's exactly what you're talking about. That's right. It's about that. Yeah. But that's the way the Holy Spirit is guiding me and in the relationship with the community in which I live. See, we've got to realize that we carry the presence of God. I know. Isn't it wonderful? We, we carry His presence and His influence. Yeah. So this is why they called me Queen Elizabeth. That's it, because you carry, you okay. carry royalty. You, you come yes. in the name of royalty, and we come in God's name. We uh -huh. come in God's power. And so what's wonderful about us is we've had an opportunity to really uh, meditate on the fact that God consciousness, mm -hmm. that we have God backing us. We have him with us like Elijah, you know, says, listen, open his eyes, Lord, when mm -hmm. they were having trouble and the enemy was coming mm -hmm. and there was fire and chariots and <laughs> that God was with him. Absolutely. And so when, when we walk with that reality, we won't be so afraid of what people think or what will rub right. off on us. No, we realize that everything else is death. Uh -huh. Everything, the world, all the other religions is death. But we have the light. We have life, uh -huh. eternal. Uh -huh. And so all you have to do is, you know, when there's an infection, all you have to do is get around it. Yeah. You know, you don't have to teach your body how to take an infection. Mm. It knows how to do that well on its own. Yeah. Well, right. the same way... When people encounter that love in the presence of God, yes. that's, that's one of my favorite prayers when we go out onto the streets. Like I said, no agenda but love. Uh -huh. I love for people who will allow me to pray for them. I just uh -huh. lay my hand on them and I say, Father, I just pray that these people have an encounter with the love that you have Amen. for them. That's what it's about. Yes. And so that love, that presence of God, when yes. they begin to sense that, they're like, whoa. Mm -hmm. See, I don't have to worry about, like we were ministering to some guys and you know they might be drunk or they might be you know, smoking something they shouldn't be smoking. That, that doesn't bother us whatsoever because uh -huh. right. our God is bigger than all of those he things. He straightens them That's up right. in a hurry. Uh -huh. And He does. He does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've heard of several who've done this. You know, they became sober all of a sudden. Mm. <laughs> and, and I wow. think it's wonderful. <laughs> Man. Oh, gracious. We've run the Man. clock down again, Man. boys. Man, it just sounds flying. <laughs> Praise God. Well, this just means that there's a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Indeed. At any rate, today I just want to thank uh, Jay and, and Tim for being here with us and carrying on what is so important in our spirits and so forth. And to be able to convey to all of you that are watching the reality of God in our lives and how he can just make life worthwhile and remind you of the fact that what it could be like in the future because you can go live with him for eternity. <laughs> but yeah. um, would you, which one of you would like to close us off? And I might not be hosting you either one after this, I don't know. It just depends. Mm. Um, but I, I want you to know it's been such a pleasure, and I've enjoyed it. So Thank I'm so looking for forward to what you all are going to be doing. Yes, praise God. And I anticipate seeing more done over there at the church, too. So, Jay, how about asking a prayer, and then I'll have you just close it off, would okay. you? Yeah. All right. Right. Um, first, let me just honor you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Um, Father God, I just come to you this day in the name of Jesus, Lord. I just honor my sister Bertha, Father God. Yes. I thank you, Father God, for what she's doing, Father God, in this world, Father God, in her ministry. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for that which she's sown, Father God, yes. into harvest renewal, that which she's sown into us, Lord. We yes. don't take it lightly, Father God. We just bless her, Father God. We give the honor unto her, which is due and credited unto her, Father God, for she is a mighty woman of God, Father God, and she's like a mother, Father God, to me thank in the you. kingdom, Lord. And I just, I just thank you for her, Lord. And Father God, I just also bless, Father God, the ears of whoever is hearing and the eyes who have ever seen this video. I pray, Lord, that every word 
word that comes forth, that came forth, may it just yes. seek into their hearts, Lord, that they just know, Father God, that there's a God that is greater, that's a God that's of love, that's a God, Father God, who wants a relationship with these people, Father God, and I pray, Lord, that you would just bring them unto your kingdom, that there's no sin that's too great for God, there's nothing that you can do that can separate you from his love, yeah. even though you may not have yet received him, he loved you still, for the Bible says that yet when we were sinners, Christ died for us, Father God, so I just pray, Lord, right now, Holy Spirit, touch them, yeah. that they'll have an experience with you, they'll have an encounter with you, and that after that, they'll never be the same, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, uh, friends, the scripture, God has an invitation. And he says, oh, won't you taste and see that the Lord is good. If you haven't picked it up by now, we have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. And that invitation is open to you. You can taste and see and know that he is good. And if you would open your heart and ask God to come in, he will. And he'll reveal himself to you. He'll free you. And he'll, just, he'll give you a glorious future and a hope. And expected and that's what his that's what his desire is for you and so we just we just bless this whole ministry we bless beauty from ashes yes, we Lord. bless the earth we bless the lost we bless everything that concerns this ministry and we declare that fruit abounds here we declare that every viewer that has heard the words of hope here that that seed would not go to the wayside, that that, would, that seed would be watered, and that there would be abounding glory to the King as a result of this ministry, as a result of this, of this video ministry. And so we just bless you, Sister Bertha. You. We bless you, our viewers. We just bless this project, and we bless the Lord and the King who is yes. worthy of our praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I want to thank all of you viewers who have remained with the Beauty from Ashes program all through this time and have you know how, how much um, you are respected and how much it is that I would like to have know that you have learned something, experienced something through all the guests that we have had on this program over the length of time. And all of this was done by the Lord leading the fact that he wanted you to know how much he loved you. That's right. God bless you. We will see you next time. <laughs>